and welcome to another video training session. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on making a trance bass line uh, in the Phantom X8 as a saved arpeggio setting. So this is, uh, let's get to it, I'll try to explain it the best I can. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. So here we go. Uh, go ahead and press the arpeggio button, the Phantom X8 or X7, X6, it's all the same keyboard, just different lengths of keys. After that, press and hold the shift, like that, and then press arpeggio once more. Great. So once you do that, it's going to bring you to a menu like this. See that, yeah? And what we want to do is give, make ourselves a bass line so we can use it as an arpeggio. Alright, now you notice here how it says uh, user 001 or U001. These are the presets that you want to edit. The ones you don't want to edit are these right here. It is the P, because P is your program presets. These presets are the ones that need to stay on the keyboard because they were there coming from the factory. And if you delete them, then you're not going to have any of them left. Uh, the only way to get them back, I think, is to reset the keyboard. And that's more trouble than it's worth. So we want to stay, that you can edit all the user settings that you want because you got them in the program. So we're going to edit the first user preset. And we're going to turn this into a Wicked Trance baseline. So let's get to it. Go ahead and press F7. Bring it to the edit menu. All right. Now, I don't know if any of you are familiar with FL Studio or not, but as you can see, you have uh, sets of four, groups of four, like one, two, three, four. Then you've got the line down the middle, one, two, three, four, line down the middle. Uh, this is good because you get to see where all your beats are. On the first block of every section of four, is where your kick drum is going to hit, and that's the last place you want your bass line hitting. You either want it on an offbeat or slightly off from the kick, that way they don't start canceling each other out. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go into uh, arpeggiation setup, which is going to be F1. You're going to adjust your steps, all right? Because it's most likely you're going to see this is an empty board right here, so you want to go into F1 arpeggiation setup and you're going to see this screen. What you want to do is make that in step 16. So just use your, your uh, jog wheel over here and stretch that to 16. Just right there. All right. So once you've got that, we want to make our velocity all 110. Uh, this is really up to you, but I prefer to have it at 110. It's always worked for me. And you can adjust that by turning the jog wheel while input velocity is selected. So we'll make that 110. And we're ready to get to work on this arpeggiation. All right, like I said, the kick drum hits on the first beat of every set of four. This is one, two, three, four beats. Uh, so what we want to do, we need to use the cursor button like that and scroll over till we see the second box. And then uh, we're going to build. We're going to build this. We're going to go ahead and hit the C, middle C, right there. Oops, wait a minute. We're going to. We're going to hit step record first. Hit step record. Go on ahead and hit your middle C, like that. And it's going to record that. The next one you want to do is hit an octave up on that middle C. And it's going to go an octave up. And since we already adjusted our note velocity, it's already going to be at 110, so we don't have to even worry about editing those later. And once again, hit middle C once more. There we go. So we can hit preview. And that's what we got. Uh, on the next bars, we want to do the exact opposite of that pattern. So we're going to go an octave up from middle C. That's going to put that in there, and then go back down to middle C, and then back octave up. So it's alternating octaves right there, and we're getting an opposite kind of triangular effect on this arpeggio. We're going to do that once more, same way, middle C. And 
and it's going to record that in there like that. So make sure your step record is uh, activated so you can make that work. And then once again, we're going to start from the top. And it will have that recorded. Once, you can, once that is completed, uh, hit F8 to deactivate step record. Uh, and you will have your arpeggiation recorded. Just like that. When you are all finished with that, go ahead and hit F7, exit. Uh, hit F8 to write that. Hit F8. I got it saved as trance base. You can uh, blame it whatever you want. F8 again to write. Uh, remember, you can write on any of the user presets because you've got the same ones as programmed. So go ahead and overwrite uh, U001. Hit write. It's going to say this message. Hit F8 again to execute. All right, arpeggiation style written. So we hit arpeggiation hold. And we'll put the tempo up to about 140. Close, and I'll show you. We'll just use B flat. And we got that arpeggio is nice and saved. All right, so let's go ahead and get a quick sequence going. Uh, we're going to stick this on a tripod. That way I can use both. Uh, I can use both hands. Yeah, get your mind out of the gutter. I'm not using both hands for that. Trust me.